What's up guys, Epic John Pazan here. Uh, I'm getting ready to leave on a trip in a few hours. I'm going to be heading down to the Bahamas to meet up with C Zero Media. And I wanted to shoot a quick vlog on uh, what kind of camera gear I'm bringing and how I'm gonna bring it. So for those of you that are looking to travel and bring your gear with you, this is a little bit of information about how I do it. Not necessarily the right way, but uh, I choose to be very careful and I tend to pack it a certain way. So I'll give you guys a little bit of insight onto how I bring my gear. So over here I have two bags. I don't plan on checking any of my luggage in, uh, so I'm packing very lightly. I'm only going for a few days. Uh, up here on the backpack I have a Low Pro Flipside 300 and down here I have the Pelican 1510. Now I'll do full reviews on the bags themselves and the case itself once I've used it extensively, just so I can give you guys a very honest and uh, intricate uh, review. But let's start off with the Low Pro Flipside 300. Uh, I got this backpack because it is very slim and uh, very secure. Uh, the only way to actually access the main compartment of the backpack is through the back, so you actually have to physically take off the backpack. Um, that doesn't mean you can't access any compartments of the bag. There are side pockets here where you can slide your passport in, uh, your phone or whatnot, and over here there's like a little uh, water bottle pouch, so it's not exactly useless if it's on your back. Um, but we'll dive right in, we'll dive into that in a little bit. I wanted to show you guys here the uh, Pelican case. This is the 1510. This is the largest size you are allowed to carry on uh, the airplane without having to check it in. And uh, so we'll open it up real quick. So inside, uh, it is very packed. I kind of compartmentalized everything just so everything's secure. Uh, one thing good about these cases is that they are padded and they're sealed, uh, so they are waterproof. Um, inside here I have my uh, Lenovo Yoga 3 Pro laptop, very slim uh, and very light, so it's a good work laptop for me. Uh, I have the Glidecam uh, packed in here with uh, my portable mouse, a bunch of clothes, uh, LED light, charger, um, Glidecam head, uh, speed light, and just a bunch of chargers. Um, just a little bit of information, uh, I went with the padded dividers, but you could also go with the puck foam, I believe it's called, where you just kind of have to pick out certain uh, designs and uh, you slide your equipment in there. But once you puck it, it's kind of just there. Uh, you can't really put it back in. So I decided I wanted to go with something more versatile, so I ended up going with the uh, padded dividers. So like I said, the only way to access the back of uh, access the main compartment of the backpack is to physically take it off and put it down. So in here, if you guys can see it, I have my Nikon D800 with the 24 to 70. I have uh, my sunglasses. Uh, this is usually where the GoPro 4 is. Go, uh, which is what I'm filming with. I have a uh, vertical battery grip with an extra battery. I have the GoPro Stealth waterproof case for water. I have another speed light, uh, some filters, mints, uh, poncho, and in here is uh, a bunch of the GoPro 4 attachments, uh, charger, um, I think it's there's like another waterproof case in here, extra screws, cables, and whatever for me to connect to my laptop. Um, so that's that. Uh, these are all Velcro, so you could interchangeably move them around. If you have the 70 to 200, you can extend it all the way and just move stuff over. This bag is very versatile, as is most of the Low Pro bags. And then in here, I just have a couple of manuals, just in case I need to look something up really quick and. I don't have an internet connection overseas. So there you have it, just a little quick vlog on my uh, equipment and how I'm bringing them on the airplane and traveling with them. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any questions. Uh, again, I will do a review on both the Pelican case and the Low Pro Flipside 300. 
I will catch you guys in the Bahamas in a few hours and hopefully me and C Zero Media can do some vlogging to kind of update you on what's going on. All right, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.